So uh, among the several things, the first emphasis is on the fact that it was a bipartisan invitation which was given to Honorable Prime Minister to address the joint house. And uh, it was a very uh, significant event for the second time for a Prime Minister to be called to address a joint session of the U.S. Uh, Congress and the Senate. Uh, and to have received such a standing ovation is a matter of pride for all of us in this country. And uh, during that visit, and during that speech in particular, uh, Honorable Prime Minister has expressed very clearly where India and U.S. relationships stand and what is it that it can do towards global order. So I'm, I'm extremely happy to say it was a visit where uh, both India and the United States have taken warmly to each other and established such uh, steps towards greater realization of our uh, national goals. Most often these visits also accompany with meeting of great eminent thinkers, leaders. So uh, this visit also, PM has uh, had meetings with CEOs, various CEOs, Nobel laureates and so on. But what I would want to highlight is the fact that even yoga, which was done uh, in the UN uh, campus, had 132 nationalities participating in it. So it drew great attraction. And uh, as a result, uh, taking yoga to a level that has rec got recognition all over the world is a very important aspect that I would uh, highlight. But from the announcements post the visit, I would like to highlight the fact that semiconductor supply chains, Micron technology, for instance, uh, is likely to invest 800 million towards 2.75 billion semiconductor assembly and test facility in Gujarat. And this itself will give more 5,000 to more than 5,000 new new direct jobs, and also 15,000 what we call indirect job, what they call as community level jobs. We are also becoming a part of an alliance of uh, rare earths and materials. And uh, in this, it is expected to support more than 2 billion planned investment center for the Semiconductor Center for Commercialization and Innovation, which is being set up in Bangalore, will have in its first five years of operation itself, the center is expected to support more than 2 billion planned investments, 500 new advanced engineering jobs, and potentially another 2,500 jobs in manufacturing ecosystem. Now, this is a very big step forward.